Hi, it's Mr. Andy, and I'm happy to share a story with you today. Today's story is from 2 Samuel, chapter 7. Listen for what God is saying to us in this story. After King David moved into his new house, his palace, the Lord gave him a break from all of his enemies around him. King David said to his friend Nathan the prophet, Look at me, I'm living in a fancy house made of cedar wood, but God's holy box, the Ark of the Covenant, is still kept in a tent. Nathan said to King David, Because you have trusted the Lord, do whatever you want to do. God will be with you. But that night, the Lord's word came to Nathan. Go and tell my servant David, This is what the Lord says. You are not the one to build a house for me to live in. I did not live in a house at the time I took the Israelites out of Egypt. No, I traveled around in a tent. I used the tent for my home. I never told any of the tribes of Israel to build me a fancy house made from cedar wood. You must say this to my servant David. This is what the Lord All-Powerful says. I chose you while you were out in the pasture, following the sheep. I took you from your job and made you the leader of my people, the Israelites. I have been with you every place you went. I have defeated your enemies for you. I will make you one of the most famous people on earth. And I chose a place for my people, the Israelites. I planted the Israelites. I gave them their own place to live so that they will not have to move from place to place anymore. In the past, I sent judges to lead my people, but evil people gave them many troubles. That will not happen now. I am giving you peace from all of your enemies. I promise that I will make your family a family of kings. When your life is finished, you will die and be buried with your ancestors. But then I will make one of your own children become the king. He will build a house for my name, and I will make the kingdom strong forever. I will be his father, and he will be my son. When he sins, I will use other people to punish him, but I will never stop loving him. I will continue to be loyal to him, I took away my love and kindness from Saul. I pushed Saul away when I turned to you. Your family of kings will continue. You can depend on that. For you, your kingdom will continue forever. Your throne will stand forever. Nathan told David about that vision. He told David everything God had said. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.